Hi everyone! Hi everyone! <laughs> Hello, Mr. Bye. Hello, Mr. Bye. Hello, Mr. Bye. Today, I'm gonna be giving advices to your dilemmas. I uh, I posted it on Instagram like some new dilemmas ta -da -ta -da -ta. and some people actually did that shout out to y'all Y'all my real ones, you know what I'm saying supporting a girl and everything. I, I see y'all. I see y'all So I'm gonna be real with y'all, right? So like if you get offended this shit like that Hey, 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 hey it's, it's just my opinion, right? It's just my opinion. You don't gotta follow my opinion, by the way It's just like I'm just giving you my advice, right? And how I would handle the situation or like Actually, sometimes I need to take my own advice so I take that back, but which I think you should do in the situation I'm gonna just let you know and this is very like anonymous. Okay, the first question was How do you get the girl you like but you guys didn't meet in person or anything? What? Didn't meet in person or on anything How how do you get the girl you like? Why did you like her? Bro, like, you haven't even met the girl in person or anything. Like, what do you mean by anything? Like, you guys do not, like, even chat or anything? And you just straight up like her? I see how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine. That don't make no sense! That don't make no sense! No, like, maybe you just find her attractive, but, like, to like, like a person? Yo, I don't think you like her like that, honestly. Just, like, what you see, like, maybe she posted something on Instagram and stuff like that, and you're thinking, hey, she baddie, but I do not think that you like her like that. So, yeah, you might find her attractive, but don't put that in your head that you like her, because what you put in your head would actually come to action and if she does not mess with you then what we're going to do now huh what we're going to do now because you guys have not met in person or anything i'm thinking on anything you mean like you haven't chatted like you haven't like called each other up or anything so there's no kind of contact but you just like a girl come on come on my g do better do better all right the next dilemma was how do you get over a breakup Good question. I don't know a lot about this one because uh, most of my relationship ended because I straight up <clears throat> Fuck I'm choking <coughs> I straight up did not feel the person anymore. So if I don't feel you anymore There is nothing really like to get over you know, if you know what I mean I'm just like I right, cool. I'm over you so there is no feelings at that point if the person broke up with you It's a different type of shit and I haven't had that I haven't been broken up with actually once and it was a long long time ago and I did not get over him uh, For bit yeah, listen listen. This is true. This is true. I, you go y'all gonna think I'm trash But it's true the best way to get over a person is to get a new one Do the monkey bar shit get a good hold of the other one before you let go with this one you know what i'm saying so just monkey bar that shit and then you'll be good you know that's how like trash talk but it works it works for the moment like if you're literally like oh my god sobbing after the person just like ah, oh, i love you da -da 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 -da. i can't get over you all that stupid shit then get a new one get on tinder i Get on Tinder, get on the dating apps, just find somebody, go out, meet people, and then, um, and, and, uh, once you get, like, your shit back, like, your groove back, then you can do your time out from everybody and just do you for a bit, you know, and just meditate and all that shit. So that, you know, you, you, you fully get over the person. But first, monkey bar, monkey bar that shit, just, da 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 you know what I'm saying? I'm sorry, but it's, it's the truth. It works. It works, alright? It works. Next dilemma was... How do you scoop a fake friends? I'm not like a very social person and I do not have a lot of friends around me. Uh, I have like people that I hang out with and stuff like that, but like my true true like my bro bros, you know, my bro bros for life are literally like two or three. So my, my best, my best advice that I can give you right now is do not have a lot of friends. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's, that's it. it. That's, that's it. it. That's, that's it. it. There is literally so small amount of like good and just people that you can click on here with. And you know your own self who those people are. Do not keep friends around just because 
you want like you want friends you know just because that you want be around people they ain't helping you they ain't like providing anything for you and the good good people that you know like you be your backbone and everything you know who they are i believe in like gut feelings and stuff like that so i feel like in your gut feeling will tell you which person is the real friend of yours and the others you just keep them around just because that you know just to be around people and those people you cannot actually like in my opinion right you can't call them friends like i can't call you a hey, you my bro if you're literally just there when I'm having fun or like if there's a gathering and I see you I can't call you a friend because of that like you have to be one of my bro bros like to hell and up to heaven you gotta be there with me if you find that person then that's your friend the rest of them are just like are just people that you hang out with alright so just keep it like that like don't be don't be don't be a hoe with your friendship that's what I'm trying to say don't be a hoe with your friendship yep that's it I got it okay um I'm having trouble making friends. Oh, fuck. You and me both, babes. You and me both. So you're in new high school and you're having trouble making friends. You gotta take that time out to, you know, do you. You know, you gotta take the time out to know, like, to learn a lot more about yourself. You gotta take that moment and make something better out of it. This kind of associated with the last uh, dilemma as well. Just be careful who you be friends with. Because I know, like, in those desperate moments when, like, you know, you're not having a lot of people around and stuff like that you might just like go to people and kind of like switch up your whole shit and go to people that you don't really mess with that much so i would just take the moment that i am alone and try to make something better out of it like find a hobby that you like uh, find a book read a book uh, meditate uh, go to the gym work on yourself and if you're doing all of those stuff and just worried about you you will find the right person i i would give the same advice when it comes to relationships as well high school people are actually hella rude honestly and like you might not have like people to sit with which i did not by the way i did not have people to sit with and stuff like that because like i tried my best yeah to friend like the people around me like the people that go in the same class as me and stuff like that i tried my best to be friends with them and then at the end i just realized i'm just i'm just tolerating a lot of stuff because like most of the things that i would never tolerate in a friendship i was tolerating that a lot with these people and not like stating my opinions and stuff like that so i was holding back just to have people around me so when i caught that cut those people off and i started sitting alone in the lunch tables and stuff like that and uh, i would actually recommend that better than sitting with people that you don't mess with because actually they will they will mess your head up and if you're too into it like you will lose who you are so yeah that's my advice on that all right and good luck shit would be tough shit would be tough high schools are tough okay the next dilemma is how do you get out of a petty relationship without hurting your girlfriend ain't no way to do it just be honest the honest that you could be just be that tell the person like everything you needed to know because there is no way to break up with somebody without not hurting the feelings if they're really really into you i feel like that should be the least of your worries right now because the best way to actually like finish the whole thing and help the person actually grow they will thank you later if you're just honest so i would just say like be honest and not like focus on not hurting the person a lot do it just do it it's not what you say it's how you say it but tell the truth and say it nicely and um the person will thank you later they will be hurt in a moment if they're really into you but just be honest honestly so. those are the dilemmas that you guys uh sent to me i want to do more of these videos actually because i find them very very interesting and i did not read like uh the dilemmas you guys you guys sent me till i started filming so it's really really fun and this is my honest reaction to what you guys are asking me i'm gonna do more of those so make sure to follow me on instagram if you want my advice and check me out and you know see my pictures double tap and make sure to subscribe to this channel what you thought like make sure to subscribe to this channel and like this video if you guys liked it so that i can do more of it yeah that's about it for today thank you guys for watching this video and i'll see you guys next week Mwah.